What's up guys? We are going to Trickster of Un Unknown Origin just for a level 99 uh, tur two turn clear. Um, and if, if you want, you can actually turn on some of these modifiers. Um, no defensive or HP. This is kind of a tight clear. Eh, not super tight. It's got 1.1 billion HP and uh, this was doing like 1.5 or so. But, I mean, obviously, this is just for a clear. It's not a high score run. But, um, here is the team we're using. So, we have Bulwark here for Fairy Killer. He has, in the base, starting in the base, he has uh, Obsidian Bracer. Actually, that's not even needed. He's got Dragon's Brush and... Call of the Wild and some Esperfil gear. Uh, shift for him, he just has uh, High Spirit and Lightning Fast Legend. Um, if you want to work it out, you can put some preemptive LB fill on Esther in the shift form. Um, and you can um, give chain frames to Bulwark if, you, if need be. Uh, optimally, you'd have Kaito uh, for the uh, Fairy Killer. Um, he, his shift at LB would chain with Esther's shift, or Esther's LB. So th that would be an alternative. You know, just uh, use his Fairy Killer, which amps water too. So you'd be able to drop Nicole for some other buffer. But um, yeah, I'm trying to make this a little cheapish. So, I mean, that's Bulwark. Again, you could use Kaito for the Fairy Killer and chain his shifted LB. If you have him, well, even EX1 uh, in his base form, he has a Magnus that'll fill his LB to the max. So, there's that. Uh, Esther, um, just here at, for LB damage. Um, yeah, she's our finisher. She's going to be doing the bulk of the damage. So, she's got full... Dragon full fairy and full LB damage. Here's her gear. Um, chain cap accelerator. Uh, I did pull Kaito off of tickets. I didn't use Lapis to chase him, so I lucked out there. I'll have him EX2 on Tuesday. I'll probably go ahead and spend some of my Lapis to buy his shard bundle and buy bun uh, shards from the VIP Lapis shop. But anyway, here's Esther. So there you go. Um, starting her in the shift form actually with Saintly Castle on. Um, make sure she doesn't have her TMR or STMR equipped. We don't want her covering because she's just going to the base form and powering up right away. Uh, Cacteria, just provoke evade, um, high spirit. So turn one, the boss's actions are a, some AOE physical, um, single target physical that can be evaded. Uh, the AOE can be miraged, obviously, or evaded if you want a gear for evasion, but mirage from Roberta is a little easier. Um, but he does some random uncoverable magic attacks to non-elemental um, that we just have to eat. It's... I forget what the wiki says. It's like highest attack, defense, magic, spirit, HP, MP units get targeted, I believe. So it seems random. I don't know if that... And I thought there was only one of those attacks per uh, on turn one, but they're like four or five, maybe. So I don't know if the target changes based on how much damage it's doing. But anyway... We're getting some uh, magic mitt from um, Shadow Lord to deal with that. You could use other magic mitt um, units. I know Celeste would probably be an option. You could pop her LB. But anyway. So, Passive Provoke Evade in the base. Um, high Spirit and Shift is you know pretty much naked. Uh, Roberta, base form, just built for damage, some chain damage. Uh, full dragon, full fairy. 
So there's her setup. And shift form, uh, she's actually not geared. So again, I, I think the targeting algorithm would probably just not target her anyway because she's low on attack magic and all other stats. It seems to be mostly Esther and Bulwark that I saw getting targeted. Anyway, Lord of the Seas Nicole, some Esper fill in the base form, uh, shift form, just high spirit. Uh, I think there is some RNG. I think if, if you use an LB, it may um, buff its uh, either attack and magic or defense and spirit, which can't be removed. So if it buffs its defense and spirit from using his LB, you may just have to retry. Um, yeah, I mean, you, you could always try to finagle. Um, maybe putting up his field using his LB on shifted LB on turn two and just seeing if you can uh, chain with Roberta and Esther and Bulwark. It's up to you. I, I forget how big the defense and spirit buff is. Anyway, um, Shadow Lord, base form, uh, high ish spirit, uh, shift form, just damage um he's not contributing that much so anyway we will get into it so Cacteria this turn, we will Sacred Oasis for the Imbue on everyone and the Imperil. Uh, trying to think, we can do the Defense and Spirit and the Perfect Dispel next turn. Uh, we'll do the her big Attack and Magic Breaks this turn. Esther, going to the base form. She's just going to power up. So Bolting Slice twice and then Calm Before the Storm. This will eat up some of those stacks of Mirage that the boss has. Bulwark's going to shift. And give us Fairy Killer. From Moops Medley. And then just punch. Get rid of more of that Mirage. Roberta this turn is going to give us Dragon Killer. Uh, spear and Peril, and then support from the skies for Mirage. Nicole's going to shift and LB. And Shadow Lord is going to, in the base form, two, True Spell Wall. And then True Cross Smash a couple times to just finish getting rid of that Mirage. So it's gone. The boss only puts up Mirage preemptively and at the 50% threshold. So we'll take some non-elemental magic damage here, which thanks to Shadow Lord, we're just dealing with pretty well. All right, so this turn we will LB with Esther, Lightning Bolt Barrage with uh, Bulwark. You have to make sure he's single wielding, by the way. Uh, Cacteria is gonna shift. And she is going to defense and spirit break her big ones. And then million needle assault for the perfect dispel. Because it still has some mitigation, but that'll get rid of that mitigation. So mitigation's gone, but it still has its attack and magic buff, which is fine. We're about to kill it. Roberta is going to the base form. She is going to Mega Breath and then Mystic Breath twice. Nicole is going to triple Crashing Tides. And then Shadow Lord is going to shift. And again, I don't know how much damage he's contributing, but we'll put him in his damage form. We'll just uh, 
true cross mash three times to chain with Nicole. So we will send Nicole and Shadow Lord, wait a sec, send Roberta and Ignitas, and then uh, wait for the chain to build, and then send the front row. So it looked like a pretty comfortable overcap. And again, I mean, you can turn some of the mods on. You can try to turn some of the defensive mods on. Try to get a slightly higher bonus score. I mean, if you're only going in for a clear and then you're done with the event, you might as well. But... So, yeah, I mean, there you go. There is a level 99 clear. Um, yeah, I, I think if you have... Kaito, um, you may be, may be able to sub him in for uh, Esther. Um, trying to think of some other subs you can make. Uh, just... Yeah, I mean, Esther capped it on her own, so... Anyone else I could give you Dragon Killer um, would be handy. You could use a physical cover tank. Um, you could maybe sub in Runda for Shadow Lord. Although his, uh, I mean, his magic mitt is not nearly as high. Um, you'd have to leave that offensive mod off. But he'd be able to chain Bolting Strike. Um, might be able to sub in Yoshikiri for Nicole. He can do the water amp. Obviously, I mean, Kato, Kaito can do the water amp too. But th th there are some options. Um, but yeah, I mean, there you go. Uh, this is one of those things. I'll try to work out my own clear. I don't want to check, you know, the, the guides that are already out there and just copy those. I want to do my own thing. I mean, it may end up substantially similar to some of what's already out there, but, uh, you know, just for my own fun, you know, I want to try to handle it myself. But anyway, hope this helped. Thanks for watching. So again, I mean, turn one, you need some uh, AOE Mirage, Passive Provoke Evader, some Magic Mitt, um... And then turn to just some way to perfect dispel the boss. So, anyway, catch you later. Thanks for watching.